At Ag Research's Tokanui Research Centre in Waikato, work is underway to observe and measure farmed animals' behaviour under a range of conditions. As a result, it's hoped guidelines backed by robust science will be created to avoid potential issues and encourage best management practices from a welfare perspective. Animal welfare is more than just the production of that animal and the health of that animal. It also includes how the animal is able to use its natural behaviours and also how it's perceiving its life, how it's feeling about its life. A lot of the work that we do, it isn't necessarily about testing a specific thing. So in this case, we used these hides as a way of monitoring a specific type of natural behaviour. So it wasn't necessarily that we were wanting to come up with a hide idea that a farmer has to put on their farm. Um, it, is, it is actually a, a, a bonus that these hides turned out to be quite easy to, to construct and a farmer could use them. But really what we're trying to get at is putting a cow in a situation where she can have a choice and she can tell us, so sort of like, you know, voting with their hooves. Essentially, they can tell us where they prefer to, in this case, prefer to calve. In this specific setting, the benefits would be that a cow is able to, first of all, follow her, what her natural behavior is telling her to do, which is, I'm close to calving, I need to isolate away from the rest of the herd. New Zealand is actually quite lucky in terms of the fact that a lot of the animals have the ability to perform natural behaviours. I mean, some things that a New Zealand farmer might take for granted, which is grazing, because that's what every New Zealand cow does, that's something that in other systems overseas, the cows don't necessarily even have that option to do that natural behaviour. But there's always going to be other areas that maybe we don't meet as well as we could. Our end goal is to create a science base that in the future, as necessary, with an industry facing challenges, can say the things that we're doing are based on science. I think a lot of industries want to be proactive, but there's a bit of a fear to be proactive. And so sometimes there is something that just catches an industry off guard. And if there's science behind why they're doing something, that's a much easier thing for an industry to defend than simply to say, we've just done this historically. The CAF trial was looking to uh, develop a measure of something that we refer to as positive affect, but it really is just positive feelings. And that's something that is becoming more and more important for us to be able to measure in terms of animal welfare. So we taught the calves that if a light flashes, then very soon after that point, a door will open and they can go to an alternative area. What we're seeing here is the calves are looking at the, directly looking at the light and then directly looking at the door and then back and forth between that uh, behavior. That to us is showing and here we have a calf that's actually touching the door and now, now they get to leave and very excitedly they, they get to go to their alternative play area. In this example, this is actually the period when the calves have been allowed out of their home pen. This is the reward that they were anticipating. And this is a pen that is identical to their home pen, but just the aspect of going out and running back and forth. At the bottom of the screen, you can just see they have a link between their home pen and their alternative pen, and they're running back and forth, and they're interacting with these objects in their environment. This is actually something interesting that we're seeing right here um, that has ju just been described minimally but um, is referred to as, as, as floor play. And so what they're doing is they're rubbing their heads along the ground on a novel substrate. And in this case, we just gave them straw. So something very simple um, that they were just really appreciating having the opportunity to interact with. The farmer is not necessarily going to get direct information from this particular trial. What this is actually doing is it's helping provide a science-based foundation for research that we will be doing that can help the farmer down the line. So this is a really, this is a foundation study. So consumers are wanting to, to understand how animals are feeling in the systems that we put them in. 
at this point in time, we actually don't have that many ways of saying that a calf is happy. Nor do we want to necessarily use the word happy, but we just don't have a way of saying that this is a positive experience for the calf. So what we first need to do is actually develop those measures, being able to say if a calf is having a good quality of life. There are codes of welfare for each farm species, and these are put out by MPI, and they provide guidelines uh, for essentially the care of, of animals when they're in a, in a system. Um, and the exciting thing is, is that a lot of industries are actually moving to make those their minimum standards, and, they're, and they are motivated to have even better care, and that's actually where a lot of our research fits, is trying to see where we can make improvements within those standards. <laughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.